All right, so let's talk tricks to use to keep yourself organized when you have multiple classes that are all assigning activities in different classrooms on Google. Now you can see here on my screen, I'm enrolled in two different classes, sample and sample two. And underneath each class is a list of some activities. And these are links to the assignments that I have to complete. And I can go from here and slowly work my way through completing them. But there's an easier way to see the overall view of everything, both the things that are due in the past that I haven't completed yet, and the things that are due in the future. Because this view only shows me things that are due in the future. And sometimes I have things that I've not completed from the past that I need to go back and make sure I finish as well. So to find that really nice view of everything, I need to click the three lines in the top left corner. And then I need to click to do. And this brings me to a to do list that shows me here are all the things I need to work on. So you can see up in this category, they have things marked as missing. And now missing means that it was previously due and I haven't completed it yet. That's why that deadline is in red. And then I scroll down and I can see three of the things due today. And then down near the bottom right, there's something that says more. If I click more, it will show me all of the things I have due today. And then if I go down even further, I can see my activities that I need to do for tomorrow. And then you can also notice that they're in two different colors and that's just telling me which classroom these match. So all the ones in that dark green are from the same classroom. The ones in the teal are from a different classroom. So with this to-do list, I can ask myself, what do I need to complete first? What is the most important thing for me to do right now? And if I just tap one of them, it takes me directly to the activity so I can go ahead right away and complete it. And then when I go back using the back arrow in the top left corner, it's disappeared from my to-do list. And as I work through, things will get removed from my to-do list in order and it will really help me keep up with all my assignments from across multiple classes. So I really highly recommend you use your to-do list to keep yourself organized.